What's going on guys? Welcome back to another My Faction video here in 2K24. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Soul Providers packs here in My Faction. And we also got some more stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff, even some very important stuff. So we're going to get right into it guys. I like the little artwork on it. It looks really nice. This, these are some really cool looking packs. Prices are about the same as the other ones as well. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So luckily prices aren't going up like crazy. Like, hey, for me, I'm gonna be saving my MFP points on packs when it comes to these packs, but I'm gonna open up one just for you guys. I know I'm at 80K and I know I do not wanna be lower, but for you guys, I'm open up one of these packs. So just to see what we can get, man. If we can get lucky, I'll take it. But we all know that these will probably be in the live event as well in the future. But yes, with these packs, we do get some more Superstar Series 1 cards. Which, man, it's like, dang, like, well, really? They got to do that to us? They got to put all these cards into these packs? But, uh, hey, I guess that's what they're going to do. But, yep, yeah, here's a look at all the base cards that you guys see in the packs. So, we got a Rob Van Dam card, which, let's see, I'm pretty sure he's a high flyer. Yes, he is. And here's a look at his stats. 75 finisher. His gameplay is fun. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, badges aren't going to be nothing too crazy. Here's Sheamus as well. Really nice stuff. 79 finisher. All right, cool. Oh, wow, they got Drew McIntyre higher than, than Hulk Hogan. All right, that's cool. Here's a look at Hulk Hogan. Now, this is the card. If, if I do open up packs and I get a good pull, I definitely want it to be this card. But I haven't even seen this badges, so let's see. Okay, seem like a B. Rebel Rouser, okay. Pain Train, okay. Actually, that's really good. Ooh, Iron Jaw as well. That's that's definitely nice. Overall, he has a lot of good stuff on him. Obviously, the badges aren't the greatest when it comes to their rarity, but I like his ability and his badges. That's definitely going to combine well with this card. And then here is Drew McIntyre as well. And this is another good card to have as well. So if you guys do plan on opening up packs, yeah, this is definitely a card I suggest you guys go for. Drew McIntyre's gameplay is really nice as well. He has a lot of good combos and movesets that's really damaging. Pain Train, really nice. And he has Rage, oh wow. So that's a, another great ability. That's how you know I, I don't even open up packs. I, I keep on forgetting about these. So yes, we also have the premium rewards for collecting a certain amount of cards from packs. And yes, it is Shawn Michaels as well as the collection set reward and we also get some more rewards here cosmetic pack but yeah really nice Shawn michaels man really nice so here are the cards that you have to get to complete this set and let me just show you the cosmetic set as well really nice hey i'll take it as long as i get a soul providers themed card i'm happy with that because i definitely could see her being used in a future live event but here's a look at Shawn michaels right here and here are his stats and Showcase Shawn Michaels is pretty cheesy, I'm not going to lie. So this card is definitely going to be something special. Here's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This card has some good stats and some good badges. Doggone. And he has a nice little comeback. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is definitely a good card, man. Do I suggest you guys spending all your MFP points for it? Hey, that's up to you if you guys really care about the collection rewards. Me, personally, yeah, it's a nice card, but I'm good. I'm good, because I already know there's going to be better cards in the future. So I'm good on that, but... This card is definitely, if you guys plan on getting this, hey, yeah, <laughs> definitely go ahead and get them. Hey, you can't go wrong with both of these cards. All right, so we're going to go with a deluxe pack. Might as well. Let's just see if we can get lucky. <laughs> All right, let's just see if we can get lucky. My pack luck, like, I got that Dominic Mysterio card, which was insane. I definitely want to get that Hulk Hogan card or Drew McIntyre card. I didn't know my pack luck. The next time I get a good pull, I don't know when that's going to be. I, I literally do not know when that's going to be. So smash that like button because I'm opening up these packs for you guys right here. Let's see. Let's see what we get, man. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Yeah, we didn't get nothing good. Dang it. Oh, oh, oh wow. What a slap in the face, huh? <laughs> my precious MFP. Oh. Oh man, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I was just at 80K, now I gotta grind. But it's all good, it's all good. But anyways, we also have some more live events dropping tomorrow. This Finn Fowler card, the featured Apex tier reward card drops tomorrow and I will be covering it tomorrow. So make sure you guys wake up bright and early and have the notifications turned on. I will be covering this card as soon as it gets released. Your boy Jex Gaming will be here showing you guys the gameplay with his moveset and everything. And he is a striker as well. I for sure will be getting some use out of this card. Stats wise, he looks pretty good as well. Uh, badges is decent, but 
in my opinion, I'm going to definitely be using him for Proving Grounds because I love using Strikers on Proving Grounds. If you guys missed my Proving Grounds video, make sure you guys check that out. And just in my opinion, the fastest way to finish Proving Grounds because of how easy their objectives are. We also get this Jey Uso card coming in about three days. We already went over this with the Free Agent Ruby card. Awesome stuff. And now we have a new live event that features pack required card so in order to play this event you have to open up some superstar series one packs and pull these two cards so luckily i do have a couple superstar series one packs lying around and i like to save my packs for videos so. all right here we go first of four i believe let's see if we can get lucky man let's see what we can do with these packs i definitely want to see if i can get lucky with this live event i know it's only 2000 mp points but hey you definitely want to be able to play as many live events as possible you know all right let's see what we can get man it's not looking too good i already know my luck so it looks like i'm not gonna be playing this live event <laughs> no dang now this was the main part of the video that i really wanted to talk about and that is the card market my man i don't even know so today we thought a, a, a good amount of people thought including myself i mean i wasn't for sure about it like i never one thing here on jex gaming i will never confirm things that that isn't confirmed so i was just assuming possibly with the countdown timer of legend packs that we would see them in the card market because you know that that would make sense there's a countdown timer you would think that these packs are gonna go away and then the cards that are in them are gonna end up being in the card market but from from what it seems like it seems like we're just gonna keep on getting different timers as you guys can see in the right hand corner there's a new timer there saying remaining so i get i don't even know what's gonna happen i truly think that they're just making these timers just as a fomo thing they want people to feel like it's gonna leave and maybe these packs will leave but that's uh, it's a good it's a good strategy they want to make it seem like the packs are gonna go away so open up these packs soon yeah we did not get them in the car market and so the question is, when will the card market officially get updated? And at this point, I said this a while back, I said either we're gonna get cards in the card market from when these legend packs expire, or it's gonna be on 2K's timing and we already know. 2K, they like to have a randomized schedule. It could, it could update when the first DLC drops, it could update when we get some more packs. It could update once we're deep into Ruby tier and then Amethyst tier is about to drop. And I could see them doing that. I could see them doing two of those things. One, right before or on the release date of the new DLCs, they're going to update the card market. Or right when Amethyst cards are going to start dropping and then Ruby cards aren't really all that important anymore. And that's when they're going to just start releasing them here. Now, yes. One quick thing, yes, you can go for the live event technically. All you have to do is just purchase this Andre Chase card and the Duke card, wherever he is, if he's even here somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is right there. So you guys can participate in the live event, but it's only 2,000 MFP points you're gonna get out of it, plus the ones that you get in game. So it's definitely not worth it. I mean, if you guys want to go for it, you guys can, but you guys have the option to pick up the cards to participate in the live event. But yeah, so going back to the card market, it seems like we're not gonna get any updates until 2K really just releases something out on Twitter or what, whatever. It could just be ran a random warning. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week. They could just randomly do this because this has happened in the past with my faction with other things. I wouldn't be shocked if this just stays like this for a minute and then for the rest of the remainder of the year, we just get random drops in the card market and then that's just how it's gonna have to be, I guess. It would have been nice if we actually had a set schedule of when we could look forward to the card market because it's just sitting here. <laughs> you know, the card market is just sitting here, just another tab that's pretty empty. And until we get an update on it, we're not going to really know when. So hopefully if we could see what they do, if, if they update the card market on a day, the DLC drops or something, we'll, we'll be able to figure out when we can expect these updates to come for the car market but so. yes that is everything for today guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about everything i went over today and let me know what you guys got from these packs i already know you guys are going to be cooking up some packs man so let me know what you guys get and yes i guess once there's a free live event card and it comes with these packs i'm definitely going to try and get lucky with it so whenever that comes i will definitely be opening up those packs also let me know what you guys think about the card market in the comment section down below and what you guys think about the new upcoming live events i will be covering those so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel tomorrow because i'll be back with another my faction video tomorrow for you guys so make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to jex gaming and turn on the notifications and go ahead and follow me on twitter link is in the description down below that way you guys don't miss out on a single video i cover all the newest games call of duty and of course 
my faction for you guys. So thank you guys for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. Have a great and positive, productive day. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for real, man. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.